Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Mission Impact. You know, we do these um, every month, right? And this month we're talking about mid-year assessment because we're in June, July, you're right. Mm -hmm. And this is the time of year that you need to start assessing what it is that you have done so far and how what you've done is working for your business or whether or not it's working for your business. Uh, this is not the time of year to be like, oh, I'm going to do that in 2022. Because this is usually, right? This is usually the time of year that people are like, oh, I'm going to get it. Next year is going to be my year. I'm going to mm -hmm. get that. This is not the time of year for that. This is a time of year to assess, um, <laughs> assess what you have already done or have not done and how you can get it done before this year ends and not wait until next year. Because every time you push it back, right, um, the list just gets longer and longer and it mm -hmm. takes you further and further away from your ultimate goal, which is to build your business and actually make money. So if you're new, my name is Tracy V. Allen. I'm the owner of TVA Consulting Group. Um, I help social entrepreneurs, social enterprises, and small businesses to design, build, and fund their social ventures, maximize their income, and impact their communities. I've been in this business space for over 20 years. Mm -hmm. 20 years, that's a long time, you know? Um, my name is Ty Boone. I'm owner of Ty Boone Enterprises. I mostly work with nonprofit organizations, helping them to move from startup and struggle to sustainability and success. Um, like Tracy, I have been in this space for over 20 years so together we're we're old old person huh? <laughs> yeah <laughs> right um I, like, I really like this this month's um topic because it talks about assessment and i think that assessment is something that we forget about too often right um because we, we get so busy in the work and we're like we're just doing we're doing it doing stuff and we never stop to look back and go oh is this even working like are we doing everything that we said we're going to do? do right. Look back at the strategic plan. There's been so many times you like pay people to do strategic planning for you. Mm -hmm. And you have this nice little pretty thing that you got created and then nobody pays any attention to it anymore. It's like first month you pay attention to it because you paid for it and then you forget all about it. So you don't know if you're getting, if you're meeting any goals, you don't know what's going on. You don't know. All you know is that you're doing some work. So I think that mid-year assessment is so important like you said when you started tracing it's so you can take a look at your previous months to know whether or not you're on the right track are we doing what we're supposed to be doing is there anything else that needs to be done how do we make this better if something is not where it's supposed to be this is the time to do it instead of waiting until you get to the end of the year and you're like oh my gosh we did all that for nothing we ain't making no money we ain't starting nobody ain't nothing working all the board quit we don't know why because we didn't stop and take a look at it before the end of the year right because i know so many times that at the end of the year is when people realize how much money they made or did not make because they weren't doing intermittent ass assessments and the midpoint in the year is a really good time because guess what we already went through two quarters right so we went through q1 went through q2 and instead of just continuing on the year like you have it's a good time to pause look at like we said look at what you have done Look at that strategic plan because you need to create one, right? And we talked about that. I think we did. We do a, um, a webinar on that already. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Next month. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So look at what. Look at your strategic plan, right? And look or look at your business plan because you should have either or or both, both, right? So look at it and see what you said your goals were for the year. And we did, I know we definitely did one where we talked about quarterly goals and setting those quarterly goals so that your business is going to be successful. So in doing that, you want to make sure, did you meet your Q1 goals? What didn't you meet in Q1 that you rolled over to Q2? If you didn't roll it over to Q2, guess what? You need to roll it over to Q3. If you did roll it into two Q, to into Q2, did you achieve it in Q2? And did you achieve Q2 goals? If you didn't, are there some that you can literally table because really and truly at this point, it's not important if you haven't done it already? Or are they stuff that you need to put at the top of the list because they're urgent to your success for the rest of the year? But you really need to sit down and assess what, um, what your goals were and how you need to do it. And that's the real reason 
for doing a mid-year assessment for finance. We're actually going to go into it in another session, right? For the financial goals and um, your, even your staffing and your client goals. Every aspect of your business needs to be assessed at the mid-year point. I like that you said to look at them to see, um, did I not do it because it wasn't important, because it wasn't a priority thing? Maybe that's why I didn't do it. If that's the case, you want to sit down and you want to think about what is priority. Because otherwise, we kind of fill up our to-do list with the wrong stuff. You know, what is priority? What are, what do we need to accomplish now or within this time period? And to make, if everything is a certain level of priority, then you're going to make sure you get it done. Um, otherwise, you kind of feel like you didn't accomplish anything if you put a bunch of stuff on your priority list that wasn't really priority in the first place. And that kind of does something to you, like personally. You're like, oh, I was supposed to do this and I didn't do this. And then, you know, it's like, oh, so I'm a failure and I didn't finish this test and that test. But was it something that really needed to be done? So put that stuff at the bottom because it might be like a just something fun to do. But stuff that's priority and that's going to move your business to the next level, that's what you focus on and you put at the top of your priority list. Yeah, I like that you said that, that sometimes we look at our list and we're like, oh my God, I'm a failure, right? Because I have all these things that I needed to do. Some of them are just passion projects and we just kind of wish we could do it, but is it really instrumental to the success of your business? Is it really going to take you to the next level? If it really isn't creating um, new clients and money in your pocket, then it may just be a passion and you shouldn't beat yourself up about it. But I do think that a lot of people look at that and then get discouraged mid-year and that's why they start saying "Ooh, 2022 is gonna be my year you know they start talking about the next year well we still have six months six full months to go for you to change the trajectory of your business but you're talking about next year so what are you gonna do for the rest of the year sit down like no <laughs> You know, like, what are you going to do? Sit down and be like, okay, well, I give up. I'm going to If you can't do that, you yeah. know what I mean? You have got to make your mind strong. Like, for business to be a successful business owner, you have to be mentally um, strong. You have to be physically strong. And you need to be emotionally strong. And if at the mid-year point right now, you are beating yourself up because you did not meet your core goals, get yourself a business bestie, man. Talk it through. Hash it out. You know, cry about it. And move it all out. Go to sleep. Wake up. Okay, we'll do this. Okay. <laughs> Give me two hours. Give me some coffee. Quick. <laughs> Yeah, no, so that cool, but get it done. Because we go through that. Not because you see us on here and things are not always perfect. Like we have hash out sessions where we're angry and we just like let it all out and then we're like, okay, now how do we regroup and move on? Right? Yeah, okay, it's right. Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're like, okay, now we're done with that. How do we regroup and move on? Because at the end of the day, this is how we feed our families. Mm -hmm. Right. And unless you want your kids to be looking at you hungry and you don't want to have some place to live, you want to get your car repossessed. And I think we've told you some of our stories of that happening. And that will wake you up quick, fast and in a hurry. Right. And, you, and you know, I think something that we have to remember about social impact work, you know, that is not all about us still. So even if we feel some kind of way or you feel some kind of way or, or I'm tired or whatever, the work that we do, you know, and we're, we're for profit businesses, but the work that you the work that you guys are doing, you know, social impact, social nonprofits or whatever, somebody still needs it, whether you want to do it or not, whether you, you know, whether somebody still needs. So, you, but you you know, going back to the fact that we're talking about assessments and why you should be doing this in the middle of the year, because you got to you got to know you. What did I do? The people who needed my stuff, did they get my stuff the way that they're supposed to get it? And was I too tired or too burned out or whatever to give it to them like they were supposed to have it? What do I need to do to make this better? Because they still need my stuff, just like my kids still need to eat. And I love everything that you just said. It just reminds me. And that is why you need a community. Um, like Ty and I always talk and we do a, um, a, non, a, a podcast together too called Mission Impact Series, the podcast, right? So we do it on Clubhouse and then we put it out on, as a podcast or sometimes even on YouTube, right? Um, but one of the things that we just talked about this week was having a circle, right? You know, developing mm -hmm. your clients. But in that, we talked about 
um, being able to share resources with other people. So if you have other people are doing what you're doing, it makes it easier for you to grow your business because you're having other people who understand your business um, structure and how, you know, you know what the people, other people, the clients that you're trying to get are going through and you can talk things out. So you don't get as discouraged as easily as if you're out there trying to do it on your own. And that just kind of brings me back to what you were saying too. Um, my tagline at the end of my podcast, I say, remember that someone in your community needs the products and services or programs that you provide. And it's up to you to make sure that you get it right. And that's basically what Ty just talked about. You know, you got to re restructure and you got to figure it out because someone in your community needs what you say you're going to provide. And it really is up to you to make sure you get it right. So if that means paying a consultant to do it, getting a business bestie, getting um, community partners, however you have to do it, you got to make sure that you get it right. So I think that's our two cents on this topic. Anything you want to add? <laughs> no, that's it. <laughs> All right. Make sure you're doing your mid-year assessments and um, see you next time for the next episode. Bye, everyone.